It's pretty grim out there at the moment for a lot of musicians. Most of the hobbyists we know have really enjoyed the lockdown. They may have been furloughed and that's given them the chance to practice, write new material and collaborate online with people they may not have worked with before. But equally, a lot of the guys and girls we know who do this for a living are really, really struggling. But we know a few that aren't. So how do you turn yourself from a musician that's struggling to one that isn't? While it looks like live gigs and traditional income streams from concerts and events are still quite a way off, you've really got two main choices. Sit it out and hope the music and events world will be switched back on when it's all over, or adapt. We know a few people who have decided to wait things out and have sought employment and income from elsewhere, and hats off to them. That's called swallowing your pride, being realistic, taking it on the chin, doing the right thing, taking one for the team. We also know a lot of people who have successfully adapted, transformed a crisis into an opportunity and evolved. And we know even more people who are trying to do that, but failing. And there's one key thing that can often differentiate the successes from the failures. Specialization. So in this video, we are going to show why specialization can really help if you're struggling to attract clients for your work, be it as an online session musician, a mix engineer, mastering engineer, vocalist, or whatever your particular strength is. Niching down and at least marketing yourself as a specialist, even though you may fill many roles in the industry, achieves several things. Firstly, it inspires confidence in new clients. Secondly, it enables you to focus better on building that aspect of your business. And thirdly, it makes targeting your business at potential customers a whole lot easier. Let's go on an imaginary journey with Boris the Rabbit and include a couple of people in our own network that we highly recommend because they specialize and are fantastic at what they do. Boris the Rabbit is a great songwriter. He had a fantastic idea for a single and he's written an amazing song based on that idea. He's done the vocal and guitar parts himself as he's also a seasoned guitarist and he's got a mate from his band, Little Puppy, to play bass. So far, so good. The vocal isn't brilliant, but that's probably because he's a rabbit. So he's hooked up online with a friend of a friend, George, who's an awesome singer and has transformed the song. Boris now also wants drums on the track, but the drummer from his band can't record at home and he's not the best. What should he do? Fudge the drums himself on his free trial of Logic Pro? Or get a professional drummer? It's a really great song. Boris has done the right thing for the track and decided to find a professional drummer. And he's chosen... EmilyDrums.com Guess what Emily does? Yep, drums. Em records drums at an expert level for your tracks. End of story. She doesn't sell drums, she doesn't mix the drums, she doesn't have a go at mastering. She plays drums really, really well on your track. EmilyDrums.com Genius. Does exactly what it says on the tin. If ever there was a perfect example of someone nailing what they do and marketing it perfectly, then this is it. Back to Boris. So Boris now has his fantastic guitar on the track, a great bass part from Little Puppy, superb drums from M, and a great vocal take from George. The vocal is a little off in places and could do with a couple of bits tuning in the chorus, but we want to retain a natural sound with that. George, of course, says his vocal is perfect and doesn't feel the need to do it again, so we need a couple of invisible edits. But what should Boris do? Have a go with Logic Pro's built-in tuning plugin? No, that would likely upset George and not sound anywhere near as professional as it could. So Boris has happened across... InvisibleEdits.com Here is another specialised service. Now this specialised service takes your slightly shoddy in the second verse but otherwise inspired take and makes it sound amazing. Professional editing of your music can really take it up to the next level and these guys have become absolutely the best simply by doing it a lot. Just like Emily Drums, they're specialists. This is just what Boris needs because if George finds out that he's had his vocals tuned, he's going to be offended. So Invisible Edits, again a perfect brand name that describes exactly what they do, they edit 
invisibly. They don't mix, they don't master, they don't plaster, they don't run an ice cream van on a Sunday. They edit really, really well. Boris is now delighted with how the song is shaping up. He's overjoyed with all the parts and the editing has really given it a professional edge. So now it's time to mix it. Boris calls a friend of his who said he can mix the song as his crack dealer has also dealt him a cracked version of Pro Tools and a knockoff pair of Beats headphones. So Boris heads over with the files and they get to work. A few hours later and the mix is going from bad to worse, so Boris leaves and heads home. He's worried that with all this work put in, if he just gets a substandard mix, his mum and a few mates from down the burrow will listen to it on SoundCloud and then it will fade into oblivion. Sad bunny. So Boris gets back online and sends the files to... CosmicAudio.co.uk so here at Cosmic Audio, we do more than one thing as a company, but we have specialists in-house that take care of individual elements and often subcontract tasks that we may not be so good at to external specialists in order to extract the very best from a project, leaving us to do the things we are best at. So Boris's files have come through and we're going to hire Jamie to mix them. It's in his genre. Again, he's a specialist. Once Jamie has mixed them, He'll send the finished mix through to Mark for mastering. That will be the first time he's heard it, so he'll be able to listen really subjectively and will pretty much instantly hear if anything is awry. Also, because he's an Apple Music Masters certified engineer, when he sends Boris's finished master back to him to upload to wherever he sees fit, he'll have a much greater chance of having his track featured in the most popular playlists for his genre. And because Boris hasn't got a clue for how to upload his track to all the major streaming services, Mark will also hook him up with his recommended affiliate and Boris will get a discount on that as well. So what happened to Boris and his track? Boris's track got featured in a top new music playlist on Spotify and is now in the top 1% of downloads for that week. He's now found a great manager Several national radio stations have picked up on it and added it to their playlists, and Boris is now working on a music video for the track. Having those extra professional musicians on his song, combined with pro editing, pro mixing and pro mastering, all from specialists in their field, resulted in a finished product the quality of which he could never have achieved alone, and his career taking off. Boris is one happy bunny. So there we go. There's just one tip to help you if you're struggling to find clients. It's okay being a jack of all trades when you're working with people in your natural warm market, people that already know you. But there comes a time for pretty much everyone if you want to earn a living in the music industry where you need to branch out and start attracting clients who've never heard of you before. For example, what was Boris's best option for getting his track mastered? Someone who works out of a bedroom studio at home, does vocal tuning, a bit of tracking, jingles, voiceover work, a bit of mixing, and a whole host of other things, or someone who masters music day in, day out, commercially, who specializes in that and can keep abreast of the latest changes, trends, and requirements of the major delivery services, and hook Boris up with a highly efficient aggregator who, in combination with Mark's certification, will give Boris a much greater chance of his single becoming a hit. But this video isn't about Boris the Rabbit, it's about you. If you're struggling to find clients, take a look at what you do from the outside. And if there's an awful lot going on, change how you market that. Try niching down, picking one thing and marketing yourself as that. Jack of all trades or master of one? I know which I'd rather be. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.